Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, we're going to look at our last part of changing fractions and decimals into percents today. We're going to look at what happens when you take repeating decimals and turn them into percents. So I've got four common ones in this chart right here. Um, so I want to start with the fraction one-third. Now my hope is that you will have this one memorized, but if not, you can also remember the pattern of nines. You can't make one-third out of 10, but you can make it out of nine by times and by three, times by three, and you get three out of nine. And then we have to remember that three out of nine means zero and three-tenths repeating. Uh, we can write that in bar notation, or we can write it as zero and three-tenths repeating with that. Now, Fraction to decimal for two-thirds. Again, hoping you just know this one. But if you don't, then take two-thirds and make it a fraction out of nine. By times by three, times by three, and that's six over nine. And the pattern of nines tells us that uh, when the fraction's out of nine, then you'll take the numerator and that will be the repeating digit. Zero and six-tenths repeating, or... Um, zero and six tenths repeating with the dot, dot, dot. Um, so knowing that pattern, then if we get one that's already out of nine, we just recognize that pattern, that as a decimal, that's zero and five tenths repeating as bar notation, or that is 0 0.555 dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we these are all ones we've looked at before. And then uh, we looked at situations where we have fractions that have 11, and we saw that um, those can be made out of 99. And you can do that by times by 9 and times by 9, and we get 72 out of 99. So then the pattern of 9s tells us this time there'll be two digits repeating, right? It'll be the numerator 72 will be the two digits that repeat in this one, or... You'll write it as 0 0.727272 dot dot dot. Okay, so that's what we've done already. We've done fraction to decimal when it's a repeating decimal. Now, what happens when you make this a percent? Now, it's actually, you do the same thing you do with terminating decimals. To make that decimal to a percent, you mentally multiply by 100. Multiplying by 100, there's two zeros and 100. That causes the decimal to move one two spots to the right, and that percent is going to be 33 and 3 tenths percent, but the 3 tenths hasn't stopped repeating, so it's got bar notation on the 3 tenths part. And it's the same thing every time to make a decimal per, to a percent, mentally multiply by 100. That'll cause the decimal to move two spots to the right, and that's going to be 66 and six tenths percent, but the six tenths is still repeating. And it's the same thing with this one, mentally multiply by 100. That causes the decimal to move two spots to the right. And that's going to be 55 and five tenths percent repeating. And then 72 hundredths repeating, well, no matter what the decimal is, you mentally multiply by 100. That causes the decimal to move one, two spots to the right. So this one is going to be 72% and 72 hundredths. So 72 and 72 hundredths percent, but the 72 hundredths part is still repeating. So that's how you take repeating decimals and turn them into percents. Okay? Now, the next thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to compare and order percentages. We're going to write the following as percents and then order them on a number line. And it's actually a lot easier to order the numbers if you have them written as percents. So this also gives us a good review of all the conversions we've done. So start off with 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. To make that a percent, you mentally multiply by 100. The decimal moves two spots to the right, and that is 75%. 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.
one out of 20, to make that a percent, make it a fraction out of 100 by times and by 5, times and by 5. And that's going to be 5 out of 100. And 5 out of 100 is the definition of percent, 5%. To make a decimal a percent, multiply by 100. Two zeros and 100, shift the decimal, 1, 2. That's 28 and 5 tenths percent. A lot of patterns here that repeat themselves, right? 48 out of 50, I'll do that down here. To make that a percent, percent means out of 100. So times by 2, times by 2. 40 times 2 is 80. 8 times 2 is 16 for 96 out of 100. That's 96%. 0 and 5 tenths. To make any decimal to a percent, you multiply by 100. That's just the decimal 1, 2. Don't forget to put that 0 in there. That's 50%. And then 1 third, we already did that. 1 third we know is 33.3 .3 repeating percent. So once you have all these fractions and decimals written as percents, it's really easy to compare them, right? Like we know now, and we might have known this already, but it really proves it that 48 out of 50, because it's 96%, is larger than 0 0.5, which is 50%. And 0 0.5 is larger than 1 third, which is 33.3 .3 repeating percent. Now, the next thing I want to do is write these numbers on a number line. Now, these are all numbers between a zero and one whole, right? All these fractions and decimals are all less than one whole. So on our number line, we've got a number line right there. We'll start at zero. We'll end at one whole. And it might be good if we think of these as percentages to think of it as zero and or. We can think of the one whole as 100%. Now, base 10 number system, we need to divide this number line into 10 equal parts. So I'll start by halving it. And then I'll cut each half into five equal parts by estimating the size by drawing four lines. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And that gives me about five equal sections there, right? And then do the same thing right here. If I want five equal sections, I use draw four lines. One, two, three, four. Now I have ten equal sections. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll... I'll write these as percentages. So um, this would be 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80 90%, 90%, 90%. If we wanted to think uh, decimals, this would be 0 and 1 tenth, 0 and 2 tenths, 0 and 3 tenths, 0 and 4 tenths. 0 and 5 tenths, 0 and 6 tenths, 0 and 7 tenths, 0 and 8 tenths, 0 and 9 tenths. And if we wanted to think fractions, we'd think this is 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 10 tenths, which is 100% or one whole. And now, if we wanted to put all these numbers on the number line, very easy to do now. Okay, 0 0.75, that's 75%. That's going to fall right in this area right here. I'm going to label that as 0 0.75. One over 20 which is 5 out of 100, which is 5%. That's going to fall right over here. So there's 5%, which we originally called 1 out over 20. And then 28.5%, which we originally called 0 0.285 or 285 thousandths. That's going to fall right about here. And we'll call that the original name 0 and 285 thousandths. And then 48 out of 50, which was 96%, that's going to fall right over here, very close to one hole, right? 
and that's 48 over 50. And then 0 and 5 tenths, 50%. Halfway, right? 0 and 5 tenths. And then 1 third, 33.3%, repeating. So 1 third is going to go well, right about there. And now we can very easily on this number line see the values of these numbers. Okay, and that's one of the main things you need to be able to do in grade 7 is take a set of fractions, decimals, and percents and write them in order and show their relative size to each other, right? 1 20th is the smallest. 48 out of 50 is the largest. Okay? And being able to go from percent to decimal to fraction, all really important. So I hope this video helps. What you're going to do today now is you're going to do that same thing with this set of decimals and fractions, and you will write them as percents, and then you will order them on a number line. I hope that helps. That's all for now. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.